What's going on, everyone? <clears throat> I have a treat for for you guys today, and um, actually, it's a treat for myself because, damn, that's all I'm gonna say. A uh, little backstory: uh, about two months ago, there was a picture that popped up on. I don't even believe all of the sneaker sites, don't quote me on it, because I, I saw it once and then I, I did my own digging. Uh, but there was a picture of um, uh, a kangaroo sneaker, not animal, for you half-wits out there, that um, instantly just popped right off the screen and it was like, whoa, what the hell is that? After doing, again, doing a little digging, a little research, I found out that... Um, collaboration coming out from um, a new, not a new well I guess new for everyone if you haven't heard of it but a shop out in Germany called uh, 43 Einhalb and I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong uh, especially to to the owners but um, you know the, the shops called 43 Einhalb needless to say um, did a little bit more research and saw that this was actually their first collaboration that they were doing ever and you know I guess to some people it didn't really um, at least some people around here it didn't really you know stand out too much but just that just by looking at the shoe and looking at the picture you know for, for people who know um, their shit about shoes and and materials and this and that um, you could tell that these were these were something something special so um, I was uh, fortunate enough and thankful enough to get into contact with uh, Misha Kruer who is uh, one of the uh, founders owners if you will of 43 Einhalb and you know we got to talking a little bit about the collaboration the project the whole nine yards and as it turns out, because they weren't sure, you know, how it was going to take with everyone, they kept production really low. And again, from the emails back and forth that I, that I had with Misha, uh, it sounded like there was only 150 pairs made total. Um, I can see why, and, you know, uh, you guys are going to see for yourself too. But, damn. I mean... These guys probably could have made a thousand of these, and I think they would have sold out. So, long story short, the you know the the background behind the shoe, the shoe is called the Obis. So again, after going to their website and, and watching the videos that they made about the shoe, um, urban legend over in Europe about uh, a demonic sheep that you know. Uh, some people said that they've seen, some people said that it's, you know, all bullshit, you know, the whole nine yards, just like stuff around here is uh, when it comes to urban legends. So they kind of went with, um, you know, with, with that, that story, if you will, about this demonic sheep that had a black head, a hairless black head, and, you know, the rest of the body was like this nappy white fur. Again, you know... The spawn of the devil, whatever you want to call it, um, but it was called the Ovis. Uh, so that was the inspiration behind, you know, making this shoe. Uh, they used the kangaroo uh, sneaker. The coil two is the uh, is the model of the of the shoe that they used, and you know what? I'm just gonna open it up. Again, this is or well, not again, but. This is actually the first time I'm fully opening this box, so you guys are right there with me when it comes to looking at the shoe firsthand and everything that, that, that it's about. Uh, it came delivered in about three days roughly, so again, big thank you to Misha and, and the guys over uh, at 43 Einhalb. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate you know everything that you were able to do. Um, this shoe was not released in the, U in the U.S. It was in-store only. And they're actually having a very small limited run of this shoe online December 4th, which is...
tomorrow, today. Um, yeah, I think it happened today. Right, today's December 4th. Uh, so I don't know if you guys were lucky, time zone wise. There, I, I don't even know if you if you even have a chance anymore. I think they already. You know what? Let me look it up. I have it all in front of me right here. Um, but it looks like it was dropping, yeah, December 4th at 1 o'clock German time. So it came and went. But anyway, so it was a very limited release. Like I said, 150 pairs, all in store with just a limited few. It was only a few sizes too uh, that released online. So for, for everyone that was able to get a pair, you know, good for you. People that, that were able to purchase it in store last week, you already know what I'm talking about. Uh, this, this shoe is absolutely stunning. Unbelievably gorgeous. But anyway, let's get back into what came in the box. Um, again, if you go to the website, if you've seen pictures, you'll see that the symbol of the Ovis uh, is kind of like this black sheep head. So a bunch of stickers came with uh this the sneaker the box little rubber bracelet again ovis the kangaroo and then two full-size posters if you will i'm not going to open them up but uh of the actual of the actual sneaker and of the black sheep head so this box um yeah came like this a nice little pull out box really cool if you hear that little noise there's a, a cool little surprise inside so first and foremost you'll see that the packaging is sick there's an extra set of insoles all right just flat white memory foam both insoles are made of memory foam it's got the Ovis uh, logo on it a little book talking about the the collab itself inside and out and the cool little thing I remember when I when I first opened a box I heard something fucking singing at me and it was this <laughs> this uh, this dope little sheep noise so you got this little cool accessory that came with um, <laughs> it's fucking ingenious if you ask me but yeah it's got the uh, the kangaroos symbol the 43 Einhob logo and then the Ovis logo as well. So it's pretty cool. If you want to scare the shit out of somebody, you got that. Um, the other thing that I that really kind of stood out was the fact that each shoe comes individually wrapped in sneaker bags. Um, and we're not talking like shitty sneaker bags. We're talking felt. You know the whole bit. So again, both shoes, cool little dope sneaker dust bags uh, there's two extra set of laces so you have uh, a black and white th what looks like 3m rope lace bring it nice and close and then you have a flat black as well all right so let's get cracking here you have it this is the kangaroo coil to Ovis from 43 Einhalb and damn I'm gonna bring it a little bit closer and you'll see that the leather on this is just ridiculously fucking I mean I can't even describe it they used again from the description from what I read um, these were actually handmade in Germany, okay, so they used bovine leather uh, from Scandinavia and see when you when I press on these You see how how they just Absorb the pressure and you see the wrinkles from the leather and you know I've talked about it a long time good kangaroo leather good obviously bovine leather they have dimples and they're supposed to have these dimples uh, that that tells you about the quality of the shoe so <clears throat> There you go. They use the the white bovine leather. All right, they use the a little bit hit of gray 
premium suede right here on the heel tab. Okay, then on the um, uh, sewn logo on the heel itself, you have the sewn kangaroo, which is also suede, uh, the kangaroo logo, I should say. All right, and then the toe box. Toe box is perforated black nubuck. But when I tell you that this is like this is new book that I've never, I've never really, you know, come across before. This actually feels more like, like a silky, um, like a silky, like f very fine felt. I mean, it is new book, obviously, because that, you know, um, I'm pretty, I'm going to go with the fact that what they say in the description is really what it is. And. And I'll tell you what, I mean, I, again, I've never felt something that this smooth, this silky. I mean, it literally is just, it's unreal, unreal. Uh, very classic design, very simple design, all right? Everything was handmade in Germany, 150 pairs. The insole on this one, so again, there's two sets of insoles. The insole on this one is, um, if I can get it out. There we go. So, so same thing, pretty much same thing, but this one's pink. Uh, and that kind of goes hand in hand with the outsole, all right? Uh, as you can see, you got the, the hits of the white and hits of the pink to kind of go along with uh, the insole on this one. Memory foam on that one as well. Uh, it's a little bit thinner than, than the white one. So, you know, whatever one you decide to use, you can't go wrong with either because uh, it's going to be comfortable regardless. So let me get this one back in there. Um, all right. Let me show you the tongue. Again, the tongue is all made from that bovine leather and super soft. All right. There is actually a small little pocket with a with a little tag. Now this tag was, again, from the descriptions, these numbers are supposedly from a region in, um, in Germany where, you know, where the materials came from. Again, I don't really, don't quote me on that. At least that's what I kind of picked up from the website. Uh, if you go to the website, you'll see that it's in German, but you can switch it over to English. So uh, maybe the translation was a little bit off, but, at least that's what I gathered when uh, when I read it. Also, on the inside of the uh, of the tongue, you'll see that <clears throat> it's engraved that these were handcrafted in Germany. Okay, uh, and it tells you which number out of the 150 it is. So, as you can see, handcrafted in Germany. There you go, number 36 out of 150. Um, sizing wise. They, the guys from uh, 43 Einhalb said that these run rather big to go at least half size down or, you know, again, for people who have um, not so wide of a foot, probably a full size down. I went half size down as recommended by, by Misha from, uh, from 43 Einhalb and uh, I haven't tried them on yet, but, you know, I'm pretty confident that it's gonna that it's gonna fit. I usually run between uh, 12 and the 11 and a half anyway, so I think I'll be all right. Sizing on this was, you know, in uh, European centimeters, I believe it was. Uh, I didn't see anything in, with the conversion over to um, U.S. or even U.K. sizes. But again, online today, for anyone that was able to get them, let us know here. You know. Tell us what uh you know what options there are. Other than that, I mean th this shoe is just absolutely fucking gorgeous, and I'm super stoked that I got it. Um, I'm very grateful. Very you know I, I can't thank M Misha enough from 43 Einhob. He he didn't have to do this. He didn't have to send me a pair. I know that they were pricey. Um, the conversion. I don't even know off the top of my head. I just know that the price was like 245 euros, I think. Again, for 
you know, the German people out there that got it, let us know what the price was. Um, but I, I remember seeing that that was the price. And let me tell you something, it's probably worth every penny because I could see now that the materials on this probably weren't cheap at all to make this shoe. Handcrafted, again, you got to take that into account when it comes to pricing. It wasn't, you know, spit out by a machine only. If you go to watch one of those videos on their website, uh, you, you'll see what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Uh, so there you go. I mean this shoe by far and away is the nicest shoe that I've gotten all year and I know I've said that about the hand-ons last week but these these actually beat the hand-ons period. Simple classy colors black and white you know you got the hits of the pink on the outsole and on the insole uh, but for the most part the majority of the shoe is black and white with a little bit of gray and it is a fucking stunner. Uh, again, super, super limited, 150 pairs only, and there isn't talk of, you know, um, any more being made and whatnot. So, <clears throat> again, right there, those, those few components put it over the edge as being one of the nicest shoes, or actually the nicest shoes so far of the year, and we have three weeks left. Um, so yeah, I mean, there you go. Again, the store is called, uh, and, and if I'm pronouncing it wrong, I'm sorry. Um, correct me for whoever can say it right. Uh, 43 Einhob. It's, um, if you go to the website, it's www.43, the number 43, E-I-N-H-A-L-B.com. All right, so there you go. The Kangaroos Coil. <coughs> Excuse me, the Coil R2 Ovis from the guys at 43 Einhub. And again, just take a look at this fucking shoe. It is absolutely gorgeous. Okay? I'm just going to give you guys one more close up. Take a look at the. I mean, damn. Damn, damn, damn. And then you got that black perforated toe box you, know, you got the tongue sick such a sick shoe um, packaging I mean you can't go wrong what shoes or actually what sneakers this year gave you um, these fucking high quality dust bags there you go uh, so like I said uh, even in the hand on video we have, shit, two weeks, two and a half weeks left in, in the month, or in the month, in the year. Uh, we already know that, um, or the last A6 25th anniversary was not officially announced, but it, it was announced. Pictures are already Roman of uh, Ronnie, Ronnie Fogg's, what, you know, what the A6. Uh, the pictures that came out yesterday or a few days ago seem very similar if not the same from the pictures that you know um were released a month ago so i know we <clears throat> or at least i said i hope that there was going to be um um that wasn't the final shoe the final sample but i guess it looks like that's what it's going to be so yeah people are already going crazy talking about it this and that um we already know that it's coming that's the last one as far as the 25th anniversary ASICs are concerned, so you know we'll see how it goes. I'm sure it's not going to be an easy grab. A lot of you have been asking me if I'm going to do the review on it. Um, <clears throat> if I get the shoe, absolutely. Um, do I think I'm going to get it? I, I really don't know. Um, it's not again. It's not going to be easy, regardless in store, online, whatever. Um, I think <clears throat> there has been word that it will be a worldwide release, so there will be other shops that do get it, um, but I am going to try. I'm, I'm definitely going to try to get it, so at least I can give you guys a review on it. Um, <clears throat> you know, I don't get my shoes uh, sent to me like, you know, some of these other guys on YouTube do. Um, I actually have to, you know, purchase all of them for the most part, um, and, you know, grab them online, go in store, you know, do the same thing that you guys have to do. So, um, you know, I know you guys think that I have it like that, but I don't. 
so yeah, there you go. Um, anyway, it's all about this shoe today, the Ovis. And again, the guys from 43 Iron Hob uh, did an amazing fucking job for their first collab. I mean, Jesus Christ. Uh, I don't care if, if it was an expensive shoe. I mean, damn. You know, I'd be a little pissed if it was an expensive shoe with with sh shitty quality and, you know, wrapped in fucking toilet paper or something. But this is like, <sighs> come on. You know what I mean? Anyway. All right, let us know or let me know what you think about this shoe and, uh, you know, sound off. Uh, oh, one last thing. I know you guys have been asking if I'm going to do uh, a top sneaker video of the year. Uh, yes, I will do something. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to break it down. It's not going to be a long, drawn-out 25 sneakers of the year. If anything, I'll do a top 10 uh, and then maybe like a top 3 of the 25th anniversaries. Again, I'm, I'm still kind of working it out. Um, I know some of you have also asked if uh, we're going to get the United Souls crew together to do, you know, the top releases of the year. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> Paulie and I did talk about it a little bit, but nothing was set in stone. Um, but, you know, if we do, you, you'll see it. So, um, just be patient and, you know, wait for it, I guess. It's the best thing I could tell you. Alright guys, I'll see you hopefully in the next few weeks if I pick up the uh, uh, What the Fog. If I don't, maybe I'll borrow from someone. Peace.